Hey all, Double One Eight Seth Shadow here. So Faded Clash comes out in a few more days. We won't be talking about any singles for pre-order right now, as those are still pre-order prices. But I do want to go back over a few cards that are coming back into the limelight with the set coming in, coming closer and closer. But before we get into some of those, I want to go over Serene Maiden Lena or Lena the SIR version that comes out of Triple Drive. So, at this point, this card has been bought out to the $80 range, where it's been getting bought for 60 to 65 as of late, and most copies just continue to sell for around $60. At this point, the only available copies are 81 to almost $90 right there. And so if you need to pick this up, We'll just have to see where it goes. I mean, Lena is one of the really popular draw triggers in terms of both artwork and just usability. And ultimately, yeah, I just like the artwork on this. The only thing I hate, don't like about it is that it's just not textured. And then I also wanted to talk about Fierce Black Flame Ops Gooded, the grade two version, specifically the triple drive booster version because we've only got four listings on it left and its market price has been increasing. 129 is the current one and it's been getting bought for a dollar and even three dollars. But the main issue here is that it's getting consolidated. Two of the listings hold, hold over 29 copies that are still up while there are only two other listings that hold about 10, 10 copies altogether. And once we lose that dollar two cent one, it's a three dollar plus card. So it's basically going to be a competition of picking this up versus the original from set eight. And just to see where the energy generators have been landing, the market price has been steadily increasing for a few different copies and available listings are moving up to 14 almost $15 while the decks are moving up to 25 almost it's almost stable in terms of the decks at least on TCG player if you're still able to find them at locals at a cheaper price your better bet is just to go for that Drag Ridder Midhot is also going back up in value and is running out of listings Five listings overall, and we have a market price of $196 right now. They've been selling for $1.50 more often than not, but there's a lot of consolidation at $2.50 on this card. And overall, we don't have any listings above $3 right now unless you count the shipping that goes along with it. Just be careful, Vargra is one of the more popular decks coming from Faded Clash, so, and this is a set 7 card. So until we get a reprint confirmed for us, this could go pretty easily. And the same goes for Freischutz Maximum, which I mentioned it a few times for the rare. Now the base price of that thing is $250, while the FR has a base price of $33.20 right now. And if we take a look, $250 across the board for all three listings. So at the very least, there's no... There's no, what do you call it? Yeah, I guess there's just no really big price to have to worry about, but we only have 14 copies left. Then when it comes to the FR, we have five copies among the first three listings that are all currently underneath, that are currently underneath $35. I'd just be careful. This, as Wellstra does come out and it's a popular deck, I don't think the FR will keep going up much higher, but the rare could become higher. Carebray is another card to watch for, and right now, between its two smaller listings, the triple rare from set 7 and the trial deck version, that's a range of $12 to $15, while the FFR is currently sitting at $40 right now, but the market price on the FFR is $22.72, Except that there are only three listings of it. So let me see if it's actually been selling. No, it hasn't sold since the end of March. And that last sell was $25. It sold a few times for $30 sometime earlier. 
But at this point, it's not moving any higher than 25. Sealed Blaze Dragon Kongsati, which is from set 9. This is Basagra support, but it's a triple rare and it's been going back up in value. And it's been selling for almost $10. So if you've been holding on to these for a while, just know that you do have some money there. They're $8 to $10 at this point. So as Bas Basagra remains to be a pretty popular deck, even if it's not heavily competitive. So support cards for that will eventually go up if we don't see reprints. Going back to Bracing Angel Ladder, as we did get announcements of new Regulus pieces for Festival 2024, wanted to see where this card was sitting at. At this point, we have a base price of $77.77, and the market price is $78.51, so market price has not been moving too much away from... It's It basically hasn't breached 80 again yet, and with more Regulus pieces being announced... It may actually just hold around here, but I wouldn't, I would not consider that fully until we actually get to Festival 2024, as players are still likely to use this where Shira Nui continues to dominate. There's also Obliging Monster Secondal. This is a card from Set 5 that's monster support, but it's also been used in EVA, and currently we're a little low on listings given that this is a rare. 11 listings overall with a market price of 74 cents. And there are only two listings on the hollow foil right now. Taking a look in more detail, the rare is moving up to a dollar. And in terms of the hollow foil, the two listings we have are effectively five dollars plus right now when you consider the shipping added on to it. Shadow Cloak has been going up in value as well. The triple rare is now 205 base with a market price of 188. The SP has a base price of 1850 but a market price of 708. So looking at that one in a little more detail, it has not been getting bought very much. Last several sales were all around $10. So $10 is not, is like a good sell on that. And if you can get, to, and if it goes any higher, well, we'll have to see what happens. Zorga's not coming until Illusionless Stripe, so there's still time. But given that it is a popular deck, there is the potential for a buyout on this one at some point. Steam Performer Togue, which is Lukier support and a promo card. Well, the base price of the regular promo has exceeded the price of the foil. The foil is currently $10. The base price of the regular one is $15. So if you need to pick up togs, might as well pick up the foil because it's currently cheaper. And if you're wondering if this is actually selling, it has been selling recently for $10 to $13. So again, better just to pick up the foil at this point, considering that it's overall more valuable and then of course we've also got promo reprints getting announced like broad felvis which is currently 11 to 13 dollars amongst its regular and foil versions there's only one foil left on the market right now while we have 10 listings on the regular version so eventually this should go down to and but the foil that's that's yet to be seen, but given that it's getting an additional foil, that should decrease the value of this one too. Mythark Habitat is in the same boat, where thanks to the reprint promo that we are getting with Faded Clash's box toppers, we're starting at around 650 for the pre-sales, and the original has dropped to $9, while the full art that you get from the BSF is currently fourteen twenty four. It is a full art, just not a foil. But we don't have any foil copies for the tournament pack presale yet. But considering the original version of this was a foil, I don't see too much value in that. And our final card is Security Upgrader, which is also getting reprinted as a box topper for Faded Clash. Those presales are starting at just over five dollars, while the original is still twenty dollars plus. So you might as well just pick up the newer promos 
there is going to be a foil version. So even the original foil won't be able to hold much price given that there's another foil to compete with it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.